Hey girls. Hello everybody, my name is Simply Velka and first and foremost I want to thank you so much for checking out this video and checking out my channel. Hopefully you just decide to stay. Um, and in this video I'm doing a pick a card for the month of July. I feel like we all just could use a message for what we can expect for this coming month. If you're not familiar with pick a cards, what I do is I shuffle for right now in this pick a card. We have four different piles and what I want you guys to do is once I show you guys the piles, I want you to take three deep breaths in and take three deep breaths out and have your eyes closed during this time and when you open your eyes whatever pile that you feel drawn to the most that is the pile that is meant for you each of these piles I shuffled separately so these piles are a representation of the message that you, the that the universe has for you and so yeah if this interests you keep on watching and once you do pick your card by the way I will always leave it in the timestamps below in my in the description box as well as in the comments and so that way you can just click your pile at the timestamp so you can just go straight to your reading but yeah let's just get started guys all right, everybody. So what I want you guys to do is to pay attention to each of these piles. Pile number one is Bloodstone. Pile number two is Nirvana Quartz. Pile number three is Redozite. And pile number four is Halite. So what I want you guys to do is to close your eyes, pause this video after I walk you through the rest of this, obviously, is to, I want you guys to take three deep breaths in and three deep breaths out, and then have your eyes closed during this time. And when you open your eyes and you have your video paused on these piles, whichever your eye is calling to the most, whichever one you look at, that is the pile that is meant for you. And that is the, so if let's first say, for example, that Rodozai Rodeza, is your pal, that would be pile number three. So you would go in the description box below to click your timestamp for pile number three for Rodozai, and that's when you can get your reading started. So once you pick your pile, we can get started with your reading, guys. All right, people in pile number one, let's see what cards we have for you guys. After looking at these cards, this is definitely a confirmation for what I was feeling, but it's also going to be... A little bit of a rough, me harsh message, a tough love situation for you guys in pile number one, but it's still all good things. So I really want to first point out that we have the lover's card in two different piles or two different decks, which is a wonderful, amazing thing to have. So definitely for some people in pile number one, there's definitely for the month of July, be on the lookout for the connections that you're going to be creating or that you already have created in your life and see Pay attention to the relationships, the connections that you make with people and which ones are going to be more most prev prevalent to you, the ones that are like going to take up mo much more of your time, I guess. And also just pay attention to those who step into your life right now. I feel like even if it's not, you, and the cards say the lover's card, right? But I don't want it to always just be taken as an intimate way because the lover's card represents a few things here. So the lover's card, quite literal sense talking about romance, but at the same time, because the lover's card came in in two different piles or two different decks, I feel inclined to say this is also in regards to just like a deep connection in general. So if you're already in a relationship, pay attention to those that come forward to you in terms of like just having like that deep, meaningful, intimate friendship that everyone just craves, right? You know, I don't usually use the word throw on the word soulmate, but definitely I feel like there's a soul connection that's going to be coming to you in the month of July, or at the very least, it's going to become obvious to you. Maybe July is going to be the month that gives you that aff you're going to get the affirmations of the people in your life right now um, that are in your life right now, because I definitely feel like this person is already relatively close to you guys right now. And so also I want to mention that the lover's card represents like a decision to, that needs to be made. And I'm going to break this down a little bit more with your other cards. And so first and foremost, we have the Empress card, which when the Empress card comes forward, especially paired with the lover's card, it's so interesting because the Empress card is bringing in the sign of um, a choice need, needing to be made, right? We pay attention to the Empress card and the artwork behind it, and she's sitting there a little bit disgruntled, if that's the word that I'm thinking of right now, and just trying to figure out what is the best right move, for, what is the next right move. So I definitely feel like for you guys in pound number one, uh, you guys are definitely searching for um, some clarity, some purpose, some trying to just make sense of the things that are going on right now, trying to just, you know, you're dealing with, it's this is what I was talking about with the two lovers card coming forward and how it plays with the Empress card is because the lovers card also represents the need to make a decision. And so the Empress card piggybacks off of that as well, where um, it's going to be a hard decision, right? Because you pay attention to the Empress and she's a little bit just frustrated, a little bit just not sure what to do. It's very out of character for the Empress, right? The Empress usually is very, 
quick with her action and very sure of her action and right now she just this is she's out of character right now and so i feel like you guys are in pile number one you guys are in a heart making in the process of making a hard decision right now and so going with this more we have the three of coins and the three of coins i feel like kind of is the need to remind you of that you got you the people in your life right now the connections that you have you need to have like this reminder that you guys are all on the same team um don't let your ego you know because we have the archangel jophiel speaking of the ego don't allow your ego to corrupt this connection this you know innocent like truly innocent but genuine connection that you have with these people in your life maybe it's like pairs of three you know because we have the three of coins and there's three parties involved into this picture right so definitely pay attention to your ego keep your uh what you know sometimes we our ego can sabotage the good friendships that we have in our lives or the good relationships that we have in our life we're just sabotage you know a hard decision a decision is hard to make because our ego is getting in the way and trying to corrupt our decision making and so we're you're acting out of place as the empress and not really sh out of character rather and you're not really sure where to go from here because you just don't know what is the truth and what is just your own mental going at you right now and i feel like you know i'm not usually like this is kind of like an uncomfortable position to be put in right because <laughs> i Obviously, it's not going to be the same for everybody, but I definitely feel inclined to say that the reason why this is coming forward in such a way is, some, is the universe, your guides are asking you to look into yourself, to pay attention to where where your ego could be coming into play in these relationships right now. Because I don't really get like a negative vibe of anyone that's in your circle right now that's giving me confirmation of what I was feeling for the energy for you guys. Um, but, you know, going off, re continuing reading the ego card and breaking it down more, a false sense of entrapment. So perhaps you feel like you're creating, your ego is creating, creating these situations with people in your life right now. There's just like trying to create reasons as to why you can't trust them or why you should just break it off with them you know being overly focused on the material things perhaps there's just, just paying attention to minor things that will you can you know if you if you don't like somebody or there's like are like a layer of where it's just like something that's unaddressed you know it could be something minuscule like you don't like the way that they, the sound that they make when they chew their food you know if you are dead dead set on not liking them that's going like those small actions are going to like be elevated so much more in your mind and your ego is going to feed off of that and really sabotage that good relationship and you'll find more of what bothers you about them just because you're searching for that kind of energy you're paying attention to that and you're creating this false sense of entrapment right negative or fear-based thoughts so yeah definitely for you guys in pile number one pay attention to your thoughts right now you know we have the bloodstone card the bloodstone card is a heavy stone talking about healing i always suggest for people whenever i pull a stone is to look up the stone itself and look up the metaphysical benefits of it because you know whenever you pay it read everything about the metaphysical benefits of a stone which can go on for pages you i there might be a reason as to why that's the stone this bloodstone is calling out to you and so i always like to say before you buy a stone make sure there's a purpose for it I always like to say it's more important to have a purposeful stone than just to have a beautiful flashy stone just because someone suggested it to you or just because it has a, you know, just as flashier and has a big price tag on it, right? So definitely look into the bloodstone because I feel like for a lot of people in pile number one, how you can go about addressing your ego is working with the bloodstone, definitely. And I kind of want to, you know, <laughs> I know you guys in pile number one are probably already over this reading. And, but just to give like another, take this as a, good thing honestly because well we have the six of swords and the six of swords usually is talking about you know like deceit and like if you're caught then you kind of just like don't try to cover it up sort of thing so own the fact i feel like for you guys it's kind of like owning owning where you're having this hard decision owning the fact of just being like you know what I allowed my ego to get into the way, you know, just being willing to take accountability for it and just being like, okay, like by taking accountability for it, you can continue going forward. And just honestly, I say take this as a blessing and take this as a good thing is because you're quite literally, you're, you're getting confirmation from your guides, those who are watch walking with you that you have good people around you. So to use this as allow this reading to be that reinforcement that you don't like you don't need to have the like these decisions that you need to make you know because we have the seven of water as well that says a complex decision the need to do research and stop procrastinating you guys definitely have a decision that needs to be made but the reason why this decision is so hard for you to make is because you're procrastinating you're trying to go through and like 
figure out where your ego is tainting this and you know just figuring out your thoughts right and you guys I really feel like you guys need to do a little bit of shadow work or just some healing in itself right and just really fixing your overall mindset definitely is what I'm getting for you guys in pile number one um, but yeah take this as a blessing because you're getting confirmation that you have good people in your life just take this opportunity take this as a take this as a blessing that you get to get the heads up and be like hey we're letting you know if you go down this path it might like well they'll see you through to the end but you know you might not be happy with the results you know there's no reason to sabotage and slow your growth right now just focus on yourself be willing to admit where you need to do your own healing right we have the rattlesnake card that says the experiences that you're presently going through are an intuition into fulfilling your purpose as a healer so definitely another nudge to healing right now as well you know this is the rattlesnake card kind of gives a uh sign as well there's just like you're on the right path don't overthink things definitely for the message that i want to say for you guys in panel number one is don't over a lot don't do not overthink things and allow you because once you overthink things that's where your ego is going to start feeding like a cancer and just being able to just like really corrupt your mind and placing seeds of doubt and just just you know just overall just sabotaging this good partnership this good relationship that you have with people in your life just because of the ego just getting out of crate just getting out of hand and so yeah before i close out this reading for you guys in pile number one i am someone that loves mantras and quotes and so the mantra card that i pulled for you guys in pile number one that'll be relevant for you guys in during the month of july says true healing healing again guys true healing occurs when i give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers so definitely this is a card talking about shadow work and really exploring why it is you're getting triggered so you can get to the root of it and truly overcome these triggers overcome the shadow part of yourself so you can continue with this thriving relationship so really address the ego with your shadow work so you can really take care of this complex decision that really shouldn't be complex for you guys in pound number one i feel like you guys kind of already know what you need to do it is just this reading is going to be that affirmation for you guys to being that push forward be like okay yeah this is now is the time but yeah i love you guys so much if this reading resonated with you guys in pound number one please let me know in the comments below i would love to hear your feedback which card resonated with you the most you know i would just love to hear from you guys and so and also i i do want to say if this reading did resonate with you um please give me a like and subscribe it really helps me so much and i also just cr uh created my website recently and would love for you to check it out and i'll have all the links down below but yeah i love you guys in, so much in pound number one but i hope you have a good one bye Hello everybody in pile number two. How are you guys doing? So let's just jump into your reading right now and see what the messages, the universe, the guides, your ancestors have for you guys, right? I'm really excited to see what messages are coming forward for you guys. So right off the bat, yeah. So taking in your cards for a moment, we have Michael, my Archangel Michael coming through right now. And it makes so much sense to have it paired with the Wheel of Fortune, which I'll get into more in a moment. But whenever Michael comes forward, Michael is, Archangel Michael is a very blunt Archangel. He's someone that's really about progress, really trying to take you to that next level, to hold you accountable as well, right? This card, but in this case, Archangel Michael is congratulating you, a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. So really, you're getting two thumbs up right now from Archangel Michael letting you know that you are on the right path. So people in pile number two, I want you to come in, go into July with knowing with full confidence that you are right exactly where you need to be right now. And so even if you're dealing with some bumps on the road or some obstacles, doing during the month of July which I'm not trying to foreshadow and say that you are but on the chance that you are if you're or on just on the chance that you're just not sure where you are in life and you feel like you're not moving forward you know Archangel Michael wants to be comes forward to remind you guys it's like hey you guys got this you know you guys are on the perfect path you're exactly where you need to be do not stress about it do not overthink things because once you start overthinking that's when you start straying off the path and that's when you are no longer on the path that you're meant to be on so yeah be able to go into the month of July with full confidence, you guys, in pound number two. And so also we have the Ace of Fire. So definitely people in pound number two, July is going to be a month that lets you know this exciting new opportunity, a career advancement, change your life now, Ace of Fire. Definitely this card is, so I want to say I'm getting definitely during like the middle of the month, near the end of month, the month of July, for a lot of you guys in pound number two, you guys are going to have an opportunity presented to you and may not be so 
obvious to all of you guys. So what I mean by this is that the opportunity may not just present itself on a silver platter to you, where it's just like a business deal. Someone just walks up to you and says like, hey, I wanted to just support your business or whatever the format is for how your life is and how your career advancement and all that goes. But it's going to, you know, perhaps you might run into a certain individual that could help elevate your career and help you get the right connections. Or maybe you'll run into somebody that could potentially mentor you and help you show you the ropes. You know, definitely pay attention to the opportunities that are going to be presented to you during the month of July, people in Palo Duty, because I definitely feel like that's going to be what changes the wheel of fortune for you guys. And usually whenever, you know, I say usually, but the wheel of fortune represents, you know, there's going to be bumps and, you know, sometimes you're going to be on the very top and sometimes you're going to be at the very bottom. It's always going to be ever changing. And so this is kind of confirmation of what I was saying before that you might deal with some obstacles, but pay attention. There's a purpose to these obstacles, I guess, is what I'm trying to say as well, is because with the Ace of Fire and the Wheel of Fortune, definitely I feel for you guys is that your opportunity is going to present itself or be set up through these bumps on the roads, through these obstacles. So just speaking with, as an example, uh, let's just say that you ended up losing your job, perhaps, and it just feels like you just are not on the right path, you know, obviously, because like you lose your jobs, like, where do you go from here? Maybe the week later, that because that you lost your job, you it freed up the opportunity, it freed up the time for you um, to be in town for, during a certain time periods where you run into this individual that will give you this great opportunity or run into somebody that will really teach you the ropes or something and really help you along in your path. So think about it in this way. Think about it in the way of being able to just what I want you guys to do in pile number two is really put your trust in Archangel Michael right now and be able to, as uncomfortable as it might sound, right? Because you're putting your trust into a being that you can't see, right? And maybe some of you have never even worked with him or even knew who Archangel Michael was before this reading. But Archangel Michael is really coming in strong for you guys as a guide in, in the sense of just trying to give you the heads up. You'd be like, hey, like, <laughs> there's good, that there's a lot of good things that are coming, going to come into your way. You just have to be in the right mindset to be able to receive it and to really take advantage of it, um, definitely. So also what I want to talk about is the King of Water, which is talking about open your heart and your mind to those around you, trustworthy and heartfelt advice. So definitely, I feel like for you guys, you're going to run into like somebody that's going to teach you something in uh, the month of July. So definitely, I feel like this is going to be the time for you, you know, because we have the Ace of Fire, which talks about changing your life now. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you guys are going, pile number two, you guys are going to definitely go into, you're going to be redirected a little bit. I feel like for sure, because we have the five of cups as well. So I feel like you're going to, yeah, this is definitely giving me confirmation. You guys are going to experience something in, during the month of July, maybe during the middle part of, of the month of July, where it's going to have, it's going to cause you for a change of thinking. So for some people, it may be very dramatic where you lose your job and you go pick, pick up like a completely different field. Maybe you had a passion for cosmetology and before you were a lawyer or you're a doctor, where it's like that drastic difference. But for some people, it may just be a an obstacle shaped in the way of where you're gonna be made a little bit more uncomfortable. Your job's gonna be a little bit more uncomfortable. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult. Um, in some in some capacity, your routine is going to be shaken a little bit. So this way, you are able to welcome in the potential new opportunities coming into place. But basically, what Archangel Michael is trying to really express to you guys is that in order for the wheel to turn, there needs to be some kind of action, right? There needs to be some short, sort of shift of the weight. And so the only way to shift that weight is to make space, to remove some baggage, to, to add in some new, right? So definitely think about it in this way. So... Yeah, and with the Nirvana Quartz as well, the the new Nirvana Quartz is usually talking about karmic ties as well. So I definitely feel like for you guys, it's going to be definitely a time for you guys to... Because I feel like for you guys in panel number two, you guys have had these different opportunities where you were on... You had the potential of going out, like taking your exit. And you watch your exit each, maybe a couple times now, and you're just like, oh, I could jump at this opportunity, but you were too scared, or you just didn't know how it was going to work out. So you just drove on by from your exit. Um, so definitely you continued on this routine where it's just like you had to continue going down the road again until your exit came up again. And so this is probably maybe like your second or third time that you've had the opportunity to really go pursue what it is that you're meant to be doing, right? Because there's a reason as to why you're meant to take this exit and this exit's going to continually repeat itself until you decide to break the chain, break the karmic 
habit or <laughs> yeah karmic chain of where you are constantly in this loop and allow yourself to really take this plunge and so really part maybe the only reason way you'll be able to take this exit is if the universe comes in and is about to side sweep you as like a semi and forces you towards the exit in some ways obviously it's not going to be that drastic and i'm not trying to say you guys are going to be in a car wreck at all and people in pile number two but think about it in this way i that, that's the only way i can really <laughs> I guess it's probably not the best analogy, but yeah, that's the only way I can really think about it in this way, uh, in that way. And so we also have the Emperor in reverse for you guys. And usually I don't, um, <laughs> I don't usually have that many reverse cards whenever I work with tarot. And it's very rare that I will get the, feel the drawn that for something to be inverted. Um, but yeah, for you guys in pile number two, we have the emperor inverted. So usually what this means is that you guys are off your game a little bit. Maybe there's like this lack of confidence recently that you've been going through because you are going, dealing with like the same karmic thing in any, every single time that, you know, think about it and like this, if you're just so used to always like, getting stage fright once you get to the end of a competition like you do fine all the way at the competition and right when you have to uh face off for first place that's when you freak out and that's how you've always been since you were a kid so you're getting you're getting that same nostalgic but not in a good way feeling and going back into that habit of like once you're seeing your exit you start freaking out and you start just like shaking your hands and just white knuckling the um the steering wheel and you just stay straight rather than taking the deep breath and turning, making the right turn into your exit, even though it can be initially scary to change paths, right? So definitely this is going to be a time for you to be uncomfortable. And if you don't make yourself uncomfortable and make the decision for you, you know, to snap yourself out of this emperor, inverted emperor, to go back upright and owning your power again, the universe is going to smack you into place because we have the platypus card, which says, quite literally just says, stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life right now. I feel like you guys are right now, perhaps in pile number two, feeling a little bit sorry for yourself because, and the universe is here, it's just like, hey, you don't have room to feel sorry for yourself because we, you've had the opportunity before to leave, take your exit. You just are too scared to do it. So really take, allow this reading, what I, what I want you guys to take away from pile number two, people in pile number two, is to really jump at this opportunity. Yeah, it's going to be uncomfortable. Yeah, it's going to be something that's completely new for you, but it's meant to be. And it's until you take that leap of faith, until you take that right exit turn, you're not going to be able to continue, like, continue having that forward progression in your life, you know? This is really time for you to switch this inverted emperor and to claim your power again and to take your exit, right? To be the proper emperor that you are, the king, the queen energy, it, owning the king or queen energy that you are, right? Um, and so, yeah, before I close your reading out in pile number two, I love mantras and quotes, and so I'm going to read off the mantra card that I have for you guys in pile number two that will be of service to you during the month of July. And your card very simply says, my fearless freedom lights up the world. I'm, <laughs> I'm like smiling so big because it just makes me so happy when all the cards just come together in just such a beautiful way, you know, and it's just this, I feel like this card is self-explanatory for you guys where you just... You have to be fearless with and once you're able to just practice this fearlessness and you'll experience such a level of freedom and truly realizing just how the universe is always actively trying to help you yeah the universe is always actively trying to help you it's just a matter of paying attention and the matter of just being fearless and jumping when the universe says jump and be able to take that leap of faith you guys got this absolutely but yeah that's the cards that i have for you guys in pound number two if this reading did resonate with you please let me know how it did resonate with you which card resonated with you the most and how did it resonate and uh, infect you in your life and how is it you know, coordinate with your life. I would love to hear about it. And if it did re resonate with you, I would love to have a like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. I do pick a cards. I'm trying to get into doing more pick a cards, but yeah. Um, and also I had just recently uploaded or uh, uploaded or published my website, my blog, and I'll put all the link links in the description below. But I love you guys so much in pound number two. You guys got this. Good luck in July. All right. Hello, people in pound number three. So let's just jump into your reading right now and see what cards the universe, your spirit guides, your ancestors have for you. I'm definitely excited to see what cards we have for you guys. So very interesting. Okay. So right off the bat, I want to, hmm, I'm sorry, you guys, this is just like a lot right now. So for you guys, I'm feeling for you guys in pound number three, I'm definitely feeling like you guys are feeling kind of defeated right now. I feel like you guys are 
kind of like starting to veer off your path a little bit, we have the Fool card. And the Fool card, I usually love this card so much, even though I feel like a lot of people don't resonate with this card. But I love the Fool card because the Fool card represents, at least to me in my opinion, the Fool card represents very unfiltered representation of yourself, where you're just living for your own intuition and just what sounds right to you. But we have the Devil card as well, which pairs with just being like, how it works in dynamic with the fool card is just where it's like you're being a fool you're making a foolish decision and you feel kind of powerless so maybe i'll just use the example of but you kind of know it too right it's like you went down a bad neighborhood and you know it's a bad neighborhood but now you're in the middle of the bad neighborhood in a situation where you kind of anticipated it and now you feel stuck in it you know you, <laughs> and you feel silly for it as well you feel like the fool and the devil card kind of is here to yeah, you know, because we have the Eight of Water as well, which says the desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, and spiritual and emotional growth. So yeah, definitely you guys are just in this like toxic loop and just making bad decisions, self-sabotaging right now that I feel for you guys. And you guys are searching to break this loop, but you feel trapped in a sense. But you guys are definitely not trapped. You guys could easily, well, I don't want to say easily because it's going to be a journey, right? To get back on the right track. But I see you guys are going to be able to overcome this once you just kind of put your mind to it you fix your mindset a little bit you have the knight of queens um where this is kind of like setting the tone for what the kind of energy that you need to adopt for me personally and how i interpret the nine of coin knight of coins is that someone who's you know starting to take the the, the knight kind of acknowledges their potential you know a little bit and they start taking the for the action maybe it's not the same as like owning it like a kingly king of coins energy but definitely you kind of are on the right track right and we have the cheetah card as well which says to get clear on your intention stay focused and move quickly to achieve your goal so this is perhaps you guys in pile number three for the month of july this is during going to be the time for you to really put yourself on a schedule and really start taking active steps to elevating your life you know you've kind of been like self-sabotaging in a way maybe not eating the best maybe not like taking care of your health your mental health your physical health or maybe you just haven't been pursuing your goals and your ambitions and you've kind of lost focus on what it is that you've been why you even started doing what it is that you're doing in the first place right you kind of lost sight of your passions your dreams and you just can kind of been just in this rut with a little bit of self-pity perhaps and what i want to tell you guys in pound number three is like part of the reason why you feel this way is because of the environment that you're putting yourself in you have to break this loop that you guys are kind of in Rem get clear on your intention and you just want to you know remember what it is that you're doing what you're trying to accomplish and just go for it stop wasting your time in this bad neighborhood that you know is just going to do you no service yeah you're not stuck you know you're not stuck in your gut you know you're not stuck in in your gut you know there's a little bit of you that are making decisions small decisions that are preventing you from leaving this bad neighborhood or is preventing you from leaving this bad um habit or this bad environment you know but i know you guys are going to going to be able to persevere through this because we have the four or five which talks about contentment peace and abundance a happy home life the successful completion of a project so yeah i definitely i feel like once you guys move on because we have the eight of water which talks about the desire to move on so the search for something more spiritual um i feel like once you guys own this eight of water energy and you decide to truly move on and then you move on with the embracing the cheetah energy spirit animal energy where you just are super focused and you just take off towards that goal you guys are really going to you know i feel like perhaps for you guys in pal number three during july maybe you need to start putting some more effort into finalizing some of your projects you know maybe you guys have been some of you guys have been working on these like art projects or just like a project that i feel like has been taking up a lot of your time maybe that's perhaps like your bad environment or just like an environment that you've just been stuck in for months. You know, you're choosing to be stuck in this position because you're just like, oh, I don't want to release it yet. I don't want to release it yet. It's not perfect. And so you're kind of willingly putting yourself in this, into this rut and keeping yourself stuck in this rut where you just kind of need to have like a moment with yourself and be like, hey, I'm not searching for, I'm not trying to search and have my, like only create one piece and just be done. And that's all I'm known for, right? You want to be able to create multiple pieces and to really build something up. And the only way that you build something up is by acting as the cheetah and getting clear focus on your goal and just going for it and to really just start 
putting your content out there, putting yourself out there and to really just start completing these projects and stop overthinking about it and stop overanalyzing it. Kind of, I feel like for you guys in pile number three is to really let go of that perfectionist energy for you guys because definitely because we have the... Mm, girl, I don't know how to say this card. Verdozai? Verdozai? Um, the Verdozai, I know off the top of my head just from re researching the cards in this pie, uh, this deck is that Rodos, I, I'm pretty sure, talks about with grounding and just things be, like trying to bring in balance. So you guys are definitely a little bit out of balance right now. And maybe you guys are juggling too many projects at once. I feel like for a lot of you guys in the pile number three, you guys have, you guys have such a creative brain or such a busy, ambitious brain that you just have like maybe like 10 projects that you're all, you're trying to actually just work on all of them. And because you're trying to work on all of them at once, you're just making such a very slow progress because you're spreading your energy output so thinly so yeah definitely for you guys i want to say for the months of july get focused on your goal get focused on like a singular project and complete that project so because that project you completing the, those projects is going to be the direct link to how you get your abundance how you feel start feeling this sense of peace and contentment right you're not until you start allowing yourself to complete these projects you're never going to feel quite fulfilled because you're just constantly in this loop of working on projects right um, we have the page of water, which talk, you know, page of water is just another affirmation for artistic brain, right? A, but this card also says a new person enters your life, a relationship begins a new phase, heightened psychic abilities. And also we have the five of coins in reverse. And I feel like for you guys and how these two cards actually correlate together in that I feel like this is where... The, it says the relationship begins a new phase. I feel like this is going to be a relationship with yourself begins into a new phase. So in the month of July, for people in pound number three, I feel like you're going to, you guys are going to enter a new phase in your own relationship with yourself and how you just go about life and how you process things. A new perspective, probably, right? And then just a new approach to things. You know, this is going to be the time for you to really let go of like you know having like your cocoon butterfly moment of where you just release these bad habits to claim in something new and to really own your power you know instead of constantly being the caterpillar that's just eating and eating and eating and eating or just being the caterpillar caterpillar that's just staying in the cocoon and waiting for the perfect moment you decide to just break free of this cocoon as cheesy as it sounds and to really just start embracing yourself into a new phase of your life begins really so i feel like that's how it begin is for you guys right now you guys are the like this five of coins inverted where it's just you're just feeling super defeated right just looking at the imagery of this alone it's just very defeated energy just focus on your projects what i want you guys to take away from your reading and pile number three you guys is to focus on your projects and to take the month of july to really come into completion with things start completing checking off things on your list rather than adding more things on your list just i want you guys to think about this this way just because you have a long to-do list that does not mean you're productive you know it doesn't like the only thing that matters on that to-do list is what the checks marks that you see when you're completing something that's the only part that matters and that speaks to your productivity yeah you may be able to have this long list of things that you need to accomplish but but what good does that do besides just stress you out you know that's not going maybe you have like the sense of fulfillment seeing like this long to-do list but you know as, if nothing's getting done then it's just what is the point right so nothing if you're not getting the your to-do list done then it's not a to-do list it's just a list of things that you need to do <laughs> so that you still need to do rather and so before i close your reading out in pile number three i love mantras so much so i chose a mantra card for you guys and your mantra says i choose love no matter what and i love this card so much because i feel like you guys need to practice a little bit of self-love and maybe even a little bit of forgiveness in yourself or forgiveness and as toxic as it might sound i feel like some of you guys need to just forgive that you are not able to live up to your super high standard as like weird as that sounds i feel like a lot of you guys in pound number four or three rather will beat yourself up a little bit because of like and, and this goes with your perfectionist nature and so because you beat yourself and you uh and beat yourself up and your projects up you never put it out and so you need to practice yourself with practice handling yourself with love practice better vocabulary with yourself with love so that way once you start having a better language with yourself you'll be able to appreciate the projects that you're working on and be able to just start putting them out there because you appreciate it so much that you want other people to see it you know this is all about just shifting your mindset overall with, really with yourself and so you can really start shifting into a new phase in with the relationship with yourself and so 
yeah, that's the reading. That That's all the cards that I have for you guys in pile number three. If this reading did resonate with you, let me know which card resonated with you and how it correlates to your life. I would love to hear about it. And if this, if you did love this reading, I would love to have a like and subscribe. This would mean the world to me and it helps me so much. And also, I just published my website recently and I would love for you guys to check it out. And I put, But I'll put everything down in the description box below. But until next time, guys, I love you so much. All right, people in pile number four, let's see what cards we have for you guys. So... I'm super excited to see what cards we have for you guys in pile number four because you guys, out of everybody, was the most... You guys had a lot going on in pile number four when I was shuffling the cards. And so, yeah, just looking at your cards now, it's definitely giving me that confirmation. And so, a lot to break down. So I feel like you guys in pile number four, it's, the month of July is going to be a time where it's going to bring up past... You guys are going to be doing a little bit of shadow work, which makes sense now is the energy that I was feeling, right? Because we have the Six of Water, which says memories from your history or your childhood, issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. The romanticizing the past is what I really want to put a focus on, is because in the memories from your history, is because I feel like during the month of July, you guys are going to potentially be triggered and it's going to trigger things that are like past things that you just haven't worked on with yourself or just maybe it's going to be a new thing that like someone like comes into your life that like triggers something that you didn't even know was a trigger and that's going to be a new endeavor for you guys to work on so it's going to like cause something for you to like think back on so it's just like for example like your friends take you to a circus and you see a clown you haven't seen a clown since you're a kid and it triggers something in you like this deep fear with clowns because you had like a bad experience with the clown when you're a kid maybe that's it's very much so in that kind of dynamics where it's just something very deep rooted that's going to come into the light that you didn't know was an issue and or at least you forgot was an issue and so the month of july is going to emerge that and i don't want you guys to be scared of this though uh, because we have the ten of air which says the end of a difficult situation and to embrace the change so basically to embrace these triggers and allow these triggers to teach you something right and expect things to get better now. Recovering from an addiction. Recovering from an addiction. So yeah, this is definitely another confirmation for me, for you guys in pile number four, that you guys are definitely going to be going through some shadow work during the month of um, July. But we also have the ladybug, which the ladybug represents a lot of things. I always like to see the. I view the ladybug as um, how the otherworldly will communicate with us and just letting you know a very good omen at least i guess in my eyes and really this is how what the card says right this is a time of good fortune and abundance so be willing to receive all the good things in your life and so i feel like for you guys before you're able to receive this abundance before you're able to receive this one two three four five how many cups is that one two three four five six seven eight nine nine of cups yeah, Nine of Cups. So we have the Nine of Cups. So <laughs> before you guys are able to have your cups filled from the Nine of Cups, you guys have to go through the shadow work and be honestly, maybe even feel deserving of it. Before you're able to feel desert, before you're able to receive any blessings in your life, you have to have a good relationship with yourself where you feel like you des are worthy of anything better for yourself. You know, before you, if you don't address your shadows, maybe your own shadows will limit you from being able to continually progress because maybe if you haven't gone through like a certain insecurity in your life yet, you're going to limit yourself before you can receive this abundance and good fortune coming into your life right now, right? We have the Two of Fire, which talks about coming into your own. So yeah, definitely the Two of Fire serves as the middle ground. So definitely you guys have to, before the way you come into your own, which is just, at least in my eyes, is another way of saying that you have fully accepting yourself, accepting more parts of yourself so you start becoming more with yourself so instead of rejecting all these shadow aspects of yourself. You start coming into your own and owning these shadow aspects of yourself and really being able to make yourself feel more complete. So yeah, the Two of Fire is definitely going to be that connecting link. So during the month of July, definitely is just going to be a time for you guys to really take this time to heal, take this time to really deep dive with yourself person like personally so this way you can really start thriving because i feel like for you guys in pal number four you guys have been working on some projects that just have not been that successful because i say this because we have the inverted seven of coins as well as the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten of coins inverted as well and and this is definitely representation of like maybe you guys recently just had a project they expected to be a lot more fruitful they expected to fill your cup with and it just wasn't 
it wasn't adding up, right? It just, this project just ended up flatlining in a way that it was just kind of disappointment. It's just really spooking you a little bit. Maybe that's what's causing you to have some triggers right now. But, you know, I want you to remind you guys of the 10 of air where it says the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. So definitely this is this project that ended up really messing with you guys, maybe really just affecting you guys emotionally and really triggering some stuff in you. I'm sorry, like, I think there's like a hair on my nose. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. I feel as if like this project, whatever you guys have been recently working on in July or in past months that just have not been as fruitful as you anticipated it being, is just frustrating you. But the 10 of air comes in and it's just like, don't let yourself be defeated right now. Allow the, allow these failures to really help you come into your own and to own yourself and to really take hold of your shadow because the shadow aspects of yourself is what prevents you from having your, these coins being not inverted right does that make sense your shadow is preventing like that's your shadow parts of yourself that you haven't embraced fully of, your, of yourself and these insecurities are limiting you from these projects to being fruitful to filling up your cup but i'm definitely getting once you own this to a fire once you come into your own you guys that is when you're going to have your ladybug that is when it's going to be a time of good fortune after this end of a difficult situation and you choose to grow from it because if you don't grow from it then you're just going to continue that same loop again but once you do transition from with the two of fire this is when it's going to be a time of abundance for you because the end of a difficult situation transfers to this and that's when your cups are going to start being filled definitely for you guys so very straightforward reading for you guys in pile number four um but i always like to end with a mantra i love mantra so much and the mantra card that i pulled for you guys says instead of praying for an outcome i pray for the highest good for all so definitely how this correlates for you guys is instead of praying for these projects to be successful you pray for you ask the universe to set you up for the best paths of success and just be and by asking that you'll realize that this project this failure of a project is setting you up for something bigger something better something greater so definitely take it as a sign for that but yeah you guys definitely in pile number four you guys got this once you guys do your self-work you, you are you guys are literally being promised so much of the world and so much success and so I don't want you guys to be leaving this reading feeling defeated. You guys definitely have a lot of good things coming up to, for you. This is just right now the time for you to start addressing these insecurities so you can level up, right? You want to like start leveling up your finances, start leveling up your abundance, start leveling up your friendships and your family life, your love life. You know, you have to start choosing work. Yeah, to st eventually make the decision of working on yourself, right? And to really start getting to the nitty gritty. And it's not always going to be comfortable. It's not always going to be fun. But if you get through it, that's when you're going to get that abundance that you've been promised right so i love you guys so much that's the card that i have for you guys in pile number four if this reading did resonate with you please let me know in the comments below which card resonated with you and how does it play in your the dynamic in your life i would love to hear about it and if you did love this reading please give me a like and subscribe it really does help me so much and also i just published my website and i'll put the link down to it below i'm really proud of it and i would love for you guys to check it out and i'd love to hear your feedback on it as well but until next time guys i love you so much bye